Welcome to the Tarot Corner here at Smudge Wellness. My name is Terrell, if this is your first time here. I am the resident tarot reader and expert. And every month I go deep into a major arcana card. This month I am talking about number six, which is the lovers. I find this card to be the most coveted in all tarot readings. Whenever somebody talks about love or relationships, seeing the lovers card pop up is a beautiful omen. It's one of the best signs that you can get. Typically, the lover's card shows a naked man and woman standing beneath an angel. This angel is Angel Raphael, whose name means God heals, and he represents both physical and emotional healing. This angel is a blessing to the man and woman and reminds them of their union with the divine. Now, the couple is standing in what looks to be like the Garden of Eden. And this is all a representation of the temptation of sensual pleasures that may take one's focus away from the divine. The angel is watching over both the man and woman and showing them the path of consciousness to the subconscious to the superconscious, or from their physical desires to their emotional needs and spiritual concerns. Angel Raphael is the angel of air, who is the same element of the zodiac sign that governs the card. Air is associated with mental activity and communication, which is the foundation for healthy relationships. His blessing seems to give this card a sense of balance and harmony, which is a symbolization of the union in a grand and cosmic sense. At face value, the lover's card represents a connection, a, a union of two forces coming together. So of course, when you're looking at it from a relationship aspect, this is this could be a really good signal that the relationship you're diving into, the relationship that you're calling in, or something that you're moving into, or some sort of partnership is going to have a fruitful outcome, the outcome that you desire. The lovers is about our emotional landscape and really seeing that come into manifestation in the real world. This is ultimate alignment. Whenever I read and I pull the lover's card, I always make sure that I talk to the many aspects of what it could mean, right, to have your dreams come true. Because oftentimes when we're looking for a relationship or we're searching for that job or we wanna dive into something, we are doing it to pursue an emotion. But from this 3D world, from our human space, our physical bodies, we're always searching for something outside of ourselves, thinking that is going to be the cause, the reason, or the, the vehicle to get us to that happiness, that love, or that joy. Now the lover's card, the lover's card is here to remind you that you are always in connection to divine, to source, and you're being mirrored in real time. Your belief and your, your, your limiting beliefs, your, your empowering beliefs, you're always being mirrored back to you what your beliefs are from your reality. The lover's card takes you into choice. You getting to decide who is it that you want to be in relationship. Who is it that you want to be when you're pursuing your goals? How you choose between what your heart desires and perhaps what is expected of you or what the social norms are and in deciding, right? There's, a, there's always a choice here. The lovers represents two forces that can support each other. In recognizing in this mirror, there has to be some sort of balance. So a give and a take, maybe opposites coming together and working through a certain way. Getting that blessing from Angel Raphael and learning how to really communicate your thoughts, turning your emotions into something tangible and physical, and allowing space to really be met with your reflection as you live and go through your life. When you're reading for other people and the lover's card comes up, I really find it beneficial to let them know that, yes, you could be attracting an amazing partner right now, but understand that they are gonna be the mirror for you. 
They are going to reflect back to you your belief systems. They are going to, yes, maybe support you, but where are you growing? How are you growing? How are you shifting? This is really, really, really crucial information to start gaining in your readings. If this is, if the lover card pops up when you are talking about financial situations, yes, there could be potential for really amazing things to happen. But again, there's a choice to be made here. How are you managing your money? How are you managing your relationship to money? How are you shifting and how is this reflection really being shown to you? On the reversal, the lover's card speaks to an imbalance. It speaks to a resistance perhaps to receiving love, to giving that love. The law of balance, the universal law of balance speaks to this very thing. In order to receive, you must also give. When you are in that reversal, where, where do you feel stagnant in the space of love? Where do you feel separated from love? Where do you feel that you may not be giving out enough or receiving enough love? Using the cards to help you really see the picture and, and, and find that clarity is going to be major. And with that being said, I'm gonna keep it short. With as much interpretation as you can with these cards, you want to begin to really start to digest and under and, and look into what they mean for you, how they're showing up for you. The lovers, when it's showing up for you, maybe you start looking at what choices do you have to make right now in your relationships, in your collaborations, the way that you co-create with the universe. Have you been bombarded or really pushing up against making a change, knowing that over and over again, you're getting the same messages. To proceed, to tweak, to call in, the lovers is here to show you that you are A, always connected to source, to, to the divine, and B, you have the ability to choose. And that's what makes you so powerful. Run with this, implement it in your everyday life. How are you being reflected back messages? How is your reality mirroring to you your own belief systems? And look at your relationships. Which ones are energetically filling you up and which ones are energetically draining you? Because that's gonna be your ticket to figuring out all of the solutions that you need. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you're really connecting with your cards. Let me know if anything pops up and I'll see you later.